I've got two big questions for you today. First, how can we prioritize the information presented by computer? How can we separate background notifications from the primary display? Secondly, how can people use computers as an intermediate to interact with real-world objects? And will this increase the usability of systems? To answer these questions, let's imagine a computer that can project light onto any surface in the room, computing outside the box, literally the box here being the monitor. This would allow us to have non-distracting ambient visualizations. We could have location-based reminders, like flashing the door when it's time to go home. Reminders can be subtle, like highlighting a sticky note, or blatant, like flashing the whole room. Or, you can non-intrusively show the weather in the user's peripheral vision. Now, what if we took that same system and let you interact with objects in the room? What if every wall was a computing surface? You could print a file by dragging it to the printer, or delete a file by dragging it to the trash, or change the volume by clicking the speakers. Now let's take that system and extend the desktop onto it. You could store files anywhere in the room, or you could have a virtual taskbar to switch between programs, or you could navigate between displays and control multiple computers with the same mouse and keyboard. We've already built this system, and it's called UbiLite. It provides a low-cost, low-resolution, ubiquitous display environment using a projector and a spherical mirror to project images anywhere in the room. It stores a 3D model of the room and uses OpenGL to warp images. I'm Joey Aramundi, a second-year undergrad at the University of Saskatchewan, and if you'd like to know more about computing outside the box, talk to me.